Hi everyone, welcome to a new video in GBCI Bootcamp course overview of green business certifications and programs. In this video, we will investigate the Sites version 2 rating system, which is known as the Sustainable Sites Initiative. The Sustainable Sites Initiative, Chapter 2, Lecture 5. The Sustainable Sites Initiative. It's a comprehensive land design and development rating system that is being used by both private and public sectors all around the world. Site certification is given to landscapes, site infrastructure and spaces that demonstrate a high level of environmental and social sustainability. Sites works for all types of projects with or without a building it including parks, university campuses, commercial headquarters for a new construction or a major renovation of existing sites. The reasons for sites are clear. It was designed to help clients and project teams create more successful projects. The way sites works is projects pick and choose from a variety of sustainable strategies and outcomes that are worth points which are all designed to create a beautiful, functional, and resilient places that strike a healthy balance between people and nature. Be sure to check out numerous case studies of sites certified projects on the site's website. Another important reason owners and clients decided to use rating systems like LEED or Sites is the powerful PR and storytelling benefits associated with the certification. Both the public and private sectors know that sustainability is not merely an add-on to their strategies, it's a fundamental piece of their strategy. Sites enables clients to walk the talk and demonstrate to prospective and current employees, visitors and other site users that they care about the environment and that they value those who are living, working and using their outdoor spaces. It has become increasingly evident that a sound sustainability strategy drives innovation and employee engagement. It attracts people to visit and benefit from a project, whether it's a park or corporate campus. It demonstrates compliance and leads to market differentiation as all key ingredients for long-term growth and profitability. Sites was designed to be a flexible and adaptable for any project undergoing new construction or major innovation. All types of projects from parks to mixed-use developments, from urban to rural contexts. Sites can apply to projects located on sites with or without buildings, including open spaces, streetscapes and blazes, commercial, residential, education or institutional, infrastructure, government, military, and industrial projects. Sites works for projects with diverse sizes and in different climates. Site certification applies to new construction projects as well as existing sites that include major innovations. The site must have been constructed within the last two years. There is no maximum size for a site's projects but the minimum is said to be 2,000 square feet. Sites can be applied worldwide to a variety of project types with or without buildings. An integrated project team would include owner or a client, professional knowledgeable in design, landscape architecture, construction and maintenance, professional knowledgeable in sustainable practices, Professional with expertise in vegetation, water, soils, landscape ecology, materials, and human health and well-being, selected to meet the unique constraints and opportunities of the project and its site. To achieve the site certification, projects should earn a total up to 200 points at the certified silver, gold, or platinum levels. Sites version 2 can be applied to just any kind of project, 
It's primarily designed for new construction or major renovation activities. However, projects that have completed within the last two years can apply for certification as long as they can demonstrate compliance with all prerequisites and the credits being pursued. There is no maximum size limit and GBCI will work with your team if you have a project smaller than 2000 square feet, which is 185 square meter. Sites can now be utilized anywhere in the world and GBCI will work with project teams one-on-one -on -one to help identify local resources for the few US focused references. Lastly, the earlier in the process a team engages with sites idly before design, the more successful the project will be. Key market sectors users of sites have been open space parks around 25%, institutional projects around 20%, commercial projects 15%, residential projects 13%. The other 25% of project types include streetscapes, transit corridors, gardens, government sites, mixed use, and industrial projects. The prerequisites and credits in the site's version 2 rating system are organized into 10 sections. The strategies cover both pre-design and construction activities and are tied together through an integrative process. There are 18 prerequisites and 48 credits totaling 200 points for measuring project sustainability. Additionally, projects that employ innovative and exemplary performance strategies can receive bonus points. Prerequisite requirements must be met if a project is to be considered for certification. All credits are considered optional. However, a certain number of credit points must be approved for a project to achieve certification. Here we have Site Context, which focuses on having an understanding of the features their particular site encompasses. Consider ways that careful planning and protection strategies can address the site's natural features that are sensitive, unique, important, or potentially threatened. In particular, consider the impact on farmlands, wetlands, floodplains, and wildlife habitats. How can you restore the current site or landscape back to its original natural function? Breed design assessment and planning it asks projects to consider the value that an integrative design process contributes to any given project. The makeup of your key stakeholder team depends on the type of site you are addressing. It's important that this integrated team conducts a comprehensive site assessment of the existing biological and cultural conditions of the site. Site Design Water the goal of the site's rating system is to incorporate strategies and technologies that restore or mimic the natural system. The driving force behind the site design water section is the water cycle. The natural water cycle is precipitation falls, then runoff or infiltration occur, which results in evaporation or transpiration, and finally condensation. Site Design, Soil and Vegetation This section emphasizes the importance of healthy soil and vegetation. With proper soil management during design, construction and operation phases, we can mitigate damage while restoring and protecting our soil. Strategies include selection of appropriate vegetation for your site, managing invasive species, restoring biodiversity and ways to engage and support the local economy and community. Site Design Materials In this section, particular attention is placed on the materials selected to construct a site. This generally includes anything from paving to plants to building materials. This approach looks at all aspects of materials from the time a material is extracted or manufactured to when it's no longer needed and can be disassembled and reused or recycled. Site Design – Human Health and Well-Being It encompasses site design that promotes outdoor opportunities. 
for site access and use, restorative and aesthetic experiences, physical activity, social interaction, and food production. It also builds stronger communities and a sense of stewardship towards nature by addressing social equity and creating a sense of place. Construction. It's essential that solid sustainable construction practices are enforced and maintained throughout the life of the project. Best practices on the site are meant to protect air quality, sending zero waste into the landfill, creating healthy soil and vegetation practices, and protection of any waterways from polluted runoff and sedimentation that might occur on site. Operations and maintenance. Maintaining the initial goals of a project is imperative throughout operations and maintenance. The ongoing maintenance process has a direct impact on the successful implementation of strategies such as renewables, pollution reduction, maintaining healthy soils and vegetation, energy and water reduction, and potential reuse. Education and performance monitoring. It's providing transparent educational opportunities throughout your projects to be to all the interested parties, providing a platform to grow and lead by example. A credit in this section encourages the long-term site monitoring and sharing of site performance data. The last point here is innovation or exemplary performance. It awards innovation and creativity, exceeding targeted thresholds in existing sites version 2 credits, or addresses strategies not currently in the rating system. Here is an example of the types of credits that you will see in the site's rating system. Some are prerequisites P, which are required, and some are credits C, for, ad for earning additional points towards certification. There are also 18 prerequisites and 48 credits totaling 200 points for measuring project sustainability. Additionally, projects that employ innovative and exemplary performance strategies can receive bonus points. Prerequisite requirements must be met if a project is to be considered for certification. All credits are considered optional, however, a certain number of credit points must be approved for a project to achieve certification. Of course, the people using the site every day are truly the ones who benefit from site certification. Site certified projects have better air quality, improve human health and well-being, and increase general productivity rates. To make parks, schools and offices places where people feel good and perform well, a selection of strategies that promote efficiency and conservation must be balanced with those that address the needs of the site users and promote well-being. Additionally, the chosen strategies do both. The solutions that conserve energy, water, and materials also contribute to a great outdoor experience. Employees and visitors of a sustainable site can expect improvements to their health and well-being, which increases productivity and overall satisfaction and in turn, this can lower the need for healthcare. For example, studies have shown that increased exposure to natural environments can help to restore the mind from the mental fatigue, alleviate stress, and improve cognitive functioning. Improved air quality due to more vegetation is also inherently linked to improvements in physical health. And access and views of vegetation also translates into better performance in schools and work, as well as shortened recovery times in hospitals. In addition to a reduced impact on the land, sites projects also help to save money. Studies show that sustainably designed outdoor spaces can use less energy by utilizing energy-efficient equipment and lighting. By strategically placing trees and other vegetation near or on buildings and by taking advantage of alternative energy such as solar, geothermal or wind power, 
These strategies not only lower utility bills, they also reduce the need for dependence on foreign fuel sources and help reduce carbon emissions. They use less water by using the right plant for the right place and using captured rainwater or stormwater runoff, all saving potable water and reducing water bills. Sites projects also use fewer resources by using materials with recycled content, durable and reclaimed materials, and also using regionally sourced supplies and materials. The image is an example of how sites can drive dramatic transformation and generate huge values. This project, in the products without a building, is another of the projects certified in the build phase. In addition to buildings, land, of course, there is a critical part of the built environment. By developing land sustainability, it is not only cost-effective, but it's also better for the land and fosters resiliency. Sites aligns land development and management with innovative sustainable design defining what a sustainable site is and ultimately eleva elevating the value of landscapes in the built environment. Phase 1 of the project was completed in 2016 and received Sites Gold certification for Chicago Navi Pier. It becomes the first project under version, version 2 of the rating system to achieve certification at the gold level. Chicago Navy Pier has been a Chicago icon and popular destination throughout much of its history, and by 2010 it had grown to be the number one tourist destination in the Midwest. In 2012, Navy Pier Incorporation decided to undergo a major renovation at the pier as the 100-year-old site was showing signs of fatigue and felt increasingly disconnected from Chicago. Sustainable features in place at the project include using native and appropriately adopted plants in outdoor environments with 100% of selected plants suitable for site conditions, climate and design intent, and also preserving existing trees by conserving 72.8% of the site's existing plants and healthy soils. The project uses highly efficient drip irrigation to meet 100% of its irrigation demand with harvested rainwater, and also estimates 60% reduction in energy consumption through the incorporation of energy-efficient lighting, pumps, aerator, and transformer components. The LEED rating system is the benchmark for the design, construction, and operation of high-performance green buildings and neighborhoods, while the LEED rating system incorporates landscape elements into some credits in the rating system, it doesn't wholly certify the site or even the landscape surrounding the building as sustainable. The sites and LEED rating systems are complementary and can be used independently or in tandem. If you would like your project to benefit from certifying to both sites and lead, you can take advantage of the synergies between them. In fact, if a project is pursuing both certifications, a project that achieves sites goal certifications will automatically achieve all the sustainable sites credits in lead version 4. Credits can be substituted between sites and lead in several ways. Full substitution credits, which are earning these credits in either lead or sites, would automatically mean earning the corresponding credit in the other rating system. Lead earns sites credits. Earning these lead credits will automatically mean earning the corresponding site credits. Sites earns lead credits which means earning these sites credits will automatically mean earning the corresponding lead credits. Currently, the substitutions are only available for projects using LEED version 2009 and LEED version 4 BD plus C and Neighborhood Development Rating System. However, this list will be updated regularly and additional substitutions requests will be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. Here are some examples of full substitutions between Sites version 2 and Lead version 4 BD plus C. 
Successfully achieving the credit in one rating system will allow the project to earn points in the other rating system. Full credit substitution examples. Sites, site design, soil and vegetation, credit 4.9. Reduce urban heat island effects earns lead version full for sustainable sites credit heat island reduction. Sites water P 3.2 Reduce water use for landscape irrigation earns lead version 4 water efficiency prerequisite outdoor water use reduction option 1. Sites Site Contacts, Credit 1.5, Redeveloped Degraded Sites, Case 2. It earns Lead Version 4 Location and Transportation Credit, High Priority Sites, Option 3. Between Lead Version 4 and Sites Version 2, there are 6 full substitution credits, 12 where Lead earns Site Credits, and 5 where Sites earns Lead Credits. These photos show the tremendous potential of sites when used in addition to lead. The building in the photos on the left is a lead platinum building, a commercial office building in Missouri. You can see the original landscape that was in place was hardly considered and not a special place. The owners decided to have the landscape redesigned and pursue sites while it was in the pilot phase. You can see in the after photos on the right how dramatic the transformation is. The overall space is much more beautiful and ecologically sound. This created a better workplace for employees, a spot for social gatherings and a campus that everyone is even more proud of. In addition to buildings, land, of course there is a critical part of the built environment. Yet too often, the landscape is seen as an afterthought, something to be altered and shaped once elements like buildings and roads are finalized. Rather than be an afterthought, how can a site or place inform the design process? How can humans be connected to the nature? Particularly at the time when half of the world population lives in urban areas, and that number is only expected to rise. How can we create beautiful places that are also healthy, functional, and resilient? Explore the standard. The rating system is a free downloadable document and a good place to get started. The reference guide will be necessary if you are taking a project through certification since it outlines the, sub the submetal documentation and the useful strategies and references. Sign up to receive regular updates by email. Check out projects. Look for education opportunities on site's website and on education at USGBC. Locate professionals who possesses the knowledge and skills necessary to support the site certification process. Become a site's accredited professional, site's AB. The site's accredited professional establishes a common framework to define the profession of sustainable landscape design and development. It provides landscape professionals with the opportunity to demonstrate their knowledge, expertise, and commitment to the profession. One of the best ways to get to know the rating system is to study and take the site's AB exam. In the next video, we will talk about Park Smart. See you in the next video.